Baton Rouge is leading the state with state-of-the-art technology and procedures that are used to treat and save stroke patients. Well, in honor of Stroke Month, we welcome another doctor to talk about how to detect and treat strokes. Joining me now, Dr. Charles Bowie, who is using advanced technology to save lives right here in Baton Rouge. And you're at the Neuromedical Center, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. I'm at the Neuromedical Center. Okay, so we had a doctor on last week talking about strokes. Can you just remind folks if maybe they missed that, what is a stroke exactly? So a stroke is a vascular insult to the brain uh, <laughs> due to either an artery rupturing or an artery being clogged. So you say an insult to the brain, basically no oxygen. Is that kind of a layman's term? That'd be a, Losing a oxygen? It is, is less nutrients and oxygen mm -hmm. to the brain. Which of course is vital to continuing to survive. So we Absolutely. also talked about when you see signs of a stroke to act fast and we went over that as well. Fast is that acronym, you know, face drooping. We went over it last time, the arm weakness. Arm weakness, speech difficulty, speech difficulty. And time to call 911. Exactly, so today we're talking about a little something different. You're kind of specialized in your training. Tell us what you're specialized in. So I'm an endovascular neurosurgeon. Basically that is a field that is involved with treating blood vessel problems in the brain with minimally invasive techniques using catheters. Okay. So we either repair ruptured vessels mm -hmm. or we can even go in and take out thrombi, which are clots that mm -hmm. can clog up the arteries that go to the brain and cause strokes. So you're basically using tiny tools that are less invasive. Is that a way of putting it? Extraordinarily small. Extraordinarily small. So yeah. we do have some video of some of the new technology. So this very tiny tool, that's something you use and really advanced a long way in how strokes have been treated. Can you elaborate on that? So this new tool is called an Iraflow catheter. Mm -hmm. uh, basically it's the next generation of a catheter we use to drain the plumbing system, the ventricles mm -hmm. that are filled with the brain and spinal fluid in the brain when a hemorrhagic stroke occurs and clogs them up. Is that a specific kind of stroke, the hemorrhagic stroke? It is. Uh, a hemorrhagic stroke is when a blood vessel or an aneurysm ruptures mm -hmm. in the brain and actually bleeds into the brain. Okay. So, uh, And that can be devastating for a person in the long run if they don't yes, act fast. Yes. Uh, 15% of all strokes mm -hmm. are hemorrhagic strokes. Okay. But they are actually more dangerous even than ischemic strokes in that mm -hmm. they cause 40% of the major disability and mm -hmm. mortalities related mm -hmm. to strokes. So that's the whole point of your facility is to avoid those major disabilities and save lives when someone is having a stroke so they need to act and call 911 right away. Absolutely. And then you do something sort of in the long term when you can use these devices or does that happen right away? No, th these are devices that we would put in when you had a hemorrhagic stroke and mm -hmm. it was clogging the ventricles, the plumbing system of the brain mm -hmm. to drain them out which is required to save the patient's life at that time. And hopefully with the new irrigating system that occurs um, with these catheters, previously they had no irrigating system and they would get clogged. Okay. So this hopefully will present the, prevent them from clogging and clean out the blood faster, which will hopefully decrease the time in the hospital for the patient mm -hmm. and put them at a less risk for infection, which is increased whenever you have to continue to change these clogged drains. And hopefully prevent them from needing a permanent internal catheter that drains mm -hmm. that plumbing system. So this is amazing technology that we're doing right here in the state. It's one of the first places to use it in Baton Rouge, is that correct? Yeah, my partner at the uh, Neuromedical Center, Dr. Greg Fothery, was actually the first one in the state to put one in uh, wow. in a stroke patient. And it's seeing and positive results. It is. Uh, That's great. And so in the honor of Stroke Month, what's something that folks can do at home to prevent themselves from having a stroke? So. To prevent a stroke is much like taking care of your heart, mm -hmm. okay? They're very closely linked. You need to diet, exercise, eat a low calorie, low mm -hmm. cholesterol diet, um, make Listen sure that you Listen to your doctor. Oh, we all say the same things. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, so think great. fast is the most important thing for people worried about strokes. Great, uh, think fast. All right, Dr. Right. Bowie, thank you so much all for right. your time today, saving lives in Baton Rouge. We'll be right back.